What have we here? Boiler, this dredge character's meddling will be the death of us. He was loitering around the exchange today, asking far too many questions about the bank. Should he discover my plan, you will face a far worse fate than losing your job. Signed, Plutus. So this Plutus is Starag's banker, hmm? I wager dredge will lead me to him. While you're out and about, do attempt not to destroy modern medicine or the London transportation network. Don't make me laugh. Innocent lives hang in the balance. They depend on this city. I'm not the one who let Lucy Thorne walk away. A mistake I intend to rectify immediately. single bus for you criminals. Well, you'll do as we say, Bailey. Or we're gonna have to pay you and your family a visit. You leave them be.
I sent Ross men a message. You and your family are safe. Oh, you are blooming brilliant. The founding members of the London General Omnibus Company. Good moral men. All of them. We'll have buses rolling before you know it. Thank you, Miss Fry. My pleasure. if you don't know what lock it opens. I dare say Miss Thorne is in the same predicament. Henry! Mr. Green, here, this is it. This matches a casket owned by the Queen, kept in the Tower of London. It's a fortress. I don't suppose you have any friends there? A guardsman? If you can find him once you're inside. I'll talk to you again when I have the shroud. Thank you for your help. Right, yes. Well, good luck. Evie? Lots of guards. Predictable patrol routes. Thorn may already be inside. Better stick to the shadows.
The shroud is in a chest that matches the key. Find it and bring it to me. Halt! Escort it to the keys. Halt! Who comes there? The keys! Whose keys? Queen Victoria's keys. Pass Queen Victoria's keys and all's well. You're not with the Royal Guard. How many of you are there? Tell me. Let me go. This is treason. Just you wait until I get out. There'll be hell to pay. I'll never find her. Here. To the graveyard you go! You have murdered me after all. But what good will that do you? The Shroud isn't here. You sought a tool of healing in order to extend your own power. Not mine. Ours. You are so short-sighted. You'd hoard power and never use it, when we would better the condition of humanity. I hope you never find the Shroud. You have no idea what it truly can do. Tell me then. No.
Take this down, then I want it sealed until you receive further orders. Miss Thorne. You supplied me with the means to secure London's future. The city thanks you. The order thanks you. I thank you. But the shroud can only be worn by one. Therefore, I hereby dissolve this partnership. I promise to endow you with an income into your old age. But that is the most I can do. May the father of understanding guide you. Yes, what is it? Miss Thorne, sir. What of her? I'm sorry, sir. She is dead. And the key? Where is the key? There was no key found on her body, sir. <laughs> the shroud will be mine, even if I have to raise hellfire to do it. Burn the letter. Take one. Here you go, sir. I say we stop this goodwill towards strangers nonsense and focus on what London really needs. Solid leadership, whose hard work will raise everyone up to success. As go the titans of business, so goes the world. <coughs> oh, oi, oi! <coughs> you weak fool. Get a job! Best guards money can buy won't do Mr. Dredge any good. Why don't we pick off a few blighters?
Jacob, it's me, Sergeant Frederick Appeline. Freddy. Sergeant. Undercover. There's to be a robbery at the Bank of England, I'm sure of it. Robbery? It's a fortress. Mm, the boys at the station thought I was joking. Wouldn't be so funny if it was their life savings. Who's behind it? That's confidential. Oh, come on, Freddy. I can help you. Imagine the headlines. Thieves caught in the act. Abilene Wright all along. Well, I suppose I can fill you in a little. Every fiscal quarter, a branch of the bank is robbed. Never the same branch. The thieves are supplied by... Cockham merchants. Thanks for the info, Freddy. It's Sergeant! And I, I, I'm keeping my eye on you. I knew which shipment it was. And I could trace the weapons to their owner. Capital idea, Freddy. Here we are, the shipping docks. Now, where are the Cockham crates intended for Mr. Plutus? Hello. And now to wait for the crates to be retrieved. It's a shame I can't stop in for a pint. Weapons are here. Same routine as before. The twopenny opens a vault, we robs it and leaves the money in his storehouse. Look sharp, the boys are waiting. To the Bank of England. Yeah. Plutus is twopenny. Say you. You're not gonna like it. Now, see here. I am graced with the Abilene family's robust constitution. Two pennies rob in the Bank of England. <coughs> the governor of the bank. I think I might need to sit down. There's no time for that. Bastard's probably deep in the vault by now. However you get in, I don't want to know. Of course. But do you know how I can get in?
The bank is designed to protect England's gold reserves. A fortress, guarded under lock and key. There is the bank manager, Mr. Osborne. Only he is allowed free access to the vault. You can spot him near the entrance. In oh, yes. One man keeps a close watch on the vault door. He watches it like a hawk. If he sees you, he's sure to seal it. The guard captain, Gus Howard, knows Tupiny well. He is in on this, I'm certain. Mr. Fry, please use discretion. The only way to implicate Tupiny is to catch him in the act. Do not jeopardize him. No big displays. This is the Bank of England. If you encounter any trouble, I'll be in the atrium. In disguise. Tupiny won't be leaving that vault. Fancy. Fitting for Tupiny's two. I rather fancy a private tour of the vault. You've stolen your last shilling from the people of London. Those animals squander their savings. We are the experts in investment. Nothing would be built or improved. Nothing would rise above the muck without our hand guiding. No creating the future. They benefit as much as they're worth. It is their city, not yours. Without our investments, there would be no city. For the path 
for the dead. The police! We're saved! Arrest them all oh. for robbing the people oh. of England. The Bank of England is closed until further notice. The currency, a laughing stock. Inflation out of control, Tupany brutally murdered. And yet Parliament does nothing. The bill will be defeated, sir. That buffooned Israeli shall be taken care of. It has been arranged, upon my honor. Your honor carries little weight. How dare you, sir! The poor people of this city have suffered enough. Today I granted a significant rise to my staff in order to counter inflation. What? I would supply all of London if I could. Meanwhile, you sit in your club and wax poetic with promises your honor cannot pay. Your family's fortune, however. I wonder what they would offer to keep your record out of the newspapers. About the same as Disraeli would offer for your balls, I'd wager. But let's be generous. Why limit ourselves to one or the other, when we can have it all? What say you, sir? <laughs> Shall I come collect? No more dallying. The halls of Parliament must be free to govern. Again! Understood? You may see yourself out. <laughs> 